I'm Martin Hendick, the director of the Foreign Policy Program at Brookings. Uh, in the Middle East, I would give uh, President Obama uh, an overall A for effort, um, C for results so far, because it's going to take a long time in the Middle East, and so if we combine the two, uh, a B grade at this point. Uh, I think in terms of the Middle East peace process, which is his signature issue, he started early, uh, he appointed a Middle East envoy, he tried hard to pull the cart out of the, the morass that it had been left in by the Bush administration, but it's going to take some time. Uh, and, and at this point, uh, he doesn't have the breakthrough to the final status negotiations, but things are finally beginning to move in the right direction. When it comes to Iraq, uh, he uh, declared that he would uh, start the process of withdrawal. He has done that. It too is going in the right direction. We're not there yet, but uh, it's still fragile. But the focus on political reconciliation is now in place. The casualty rates have come down, particularly of American soldiers. So we're heading in the right direction there. On, the, uh, on Iran, he deserves considerable credit for resetting relations with the Russians and bringing them on board. That's likely to bring the Chinese on board for an effort to curb Iran's nuclear program. But on the other side, the unexpected happened. There was this upheaval in Iran itself with the opposition to, to the Supreme Leader and uh, Ahmadinejad. Uh, and that has the potential to increase the leverage of this international phalanx against Iran's nuclear program, but we're not there yet, and it's a very complex situation. Finally, his outreach to the uh, Muslim uh, world, uh, particularly through his brilliant speech in Cairo, uh, did much to improve America's image there. But now they're looking for results, and that's the big challenge in the Middle East, and he still has that in front of him.